Hello Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy with you. What we're going to talk about today is embarkation from Long Beach time. That's what we're talking about. You've got all the stuff you need to get on. You've got to check your bags with a porter if you want. You've got to tip the porter because that's what they're good for. They like that tip. They'll take much better care of your luggage. Not that they wouldn't take good care of it anyway, but they're going to take better care of it with a little tip. Just my tip for the day, as they say. Anyway, Long Beach is a really, really simple embarkation. Um, there is a bit of confusion with the parking because now you can only park in the main lot if you're on the panorama, if you're on the imagination or the inspiration, they take you to the convention center for parking, they're gonna run a shuttle to the, uh, to the port. Still very, very simple. Wherever you go, it's a really simple process. So we were just on the panorama inaugural, as if you didn't know, I've said it a million times. So we were able to park in the main lot. So I'm gonna show you a little video from when we parked, how easy it is to get to the embarkation, through the embarkation process and onto the ship. Couldn't be easier. I think the whole thing, you know, apart from waiting, you know, because we got there early, because we're like that, probably about 10 minutes for the whole thing. It was even easier getting off. It was really, really simple. Um, so, watch this. How you get on the ship at Long Beach. So here we are at Long Beach Port. We've just parked our car in the terminal. This is for Panorama people only. Imagination, inspiration. You know I have to park at the convention center, but you're about to see how close it is, because there's the ship. So we're on level three in the parking here. We got there fairly early, so we got a good spot in the parking. And then these elevators will take you straight down. We'll just jump ahead to the end. You'll see there's the Queen Mary, that dome there. That is the area where you check in. And then there's the panorama off to the right. This really couldn't be a simpler embarkation process. It's one of the best. So you go down this elevator, and when you come out at the bottom, the porters are there waiting for you. So we drop off our bags at a porter, give them a nice tip, of course, because we're nice people. And then I was going to give you an idea of how quickly you can walk to the main terminal. See, he's happy. He's not going to drop our bags, is he? Oops, they got anchors on them. What can I say? So once we've done that, we just have to walk across here. On the left is the parking area for buses. If you're leaving afterwards, this is where you'll go you get your, uh, your bus connection to the airport or whatever. It'll be on your left where we're looking here. I don't think I panned around. So we're just gonna cross over here. And we are directly where we need to go. I won't make you go through the whole walk. I'm just going to turn the corner and you'll see where everybody goes. You're just going to bear off to the left. There's signs everywhere. You're going to bear off to the left where you see the Queen Mary there. Right in front is where the lines of people are. One for priority and faster to the fun. One for the people that have an assigned time. And you'll see very clearly which line you need to get in once you get there. So once it's your time to be called up to go in, they're going to make you enter this way. This is the... Uh, the priority line on the right, the assigned timing is going to be on the left. And you're going to walk in here. I would love to say they let me video everything, but as you'll see, a lady's going to come out in a second and make me turn my camera off because they get very touchy if you have this going through the security. So I had to turn my camera off momentarily. But right through this entrance, there she is. Stop, stop. Right through this entrance is where you do it. So once we get through the security, I'm going to turn around from the back. That white light in the distance, that's where we just came in. I've gone through security and I'm showing you a video back as to how close that is when you come in. You immediately come in and you check in. Once you've checked in, they take your picture for the sign and sell card and all that good stuff. And then you go through security and you walk into this main area here. I'm just going to walk you down this line here. Um, we're going to take you, if you are priority or faster to the fun, I'll show you where you go. Everybody else, you can sit yourselves wherever you wish all these benches and then they have a captain's lounge at the end where you can go again if you're faster to the final priority 
And then when it's your turn to be called up, they'll make an announcement and you're going to go onto the ship and I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, I want to show you a bit longer of that than I normally would just because I want to give you a heads up. If you do have any sort of difficulty walking, I strongly recommend you take an elevator. It is quite a steep path to get up to the ship if you walk. There's no steps, it's a ramp, but it's quite a steep ramp. So this is the end. Um, and this is where everybody will go in for the boarding. And if you look very carefully, because I completely missed it, you're going to get a glimpse of Sir John Heald, who was just leaving the ship. But you are about to get a quick glimpse of him. And then when we get on the ship, this is what you have to walk up. So it's quite a, a steep and fairly long walk. So again, if you do have any difficulty walking, I strongly recommend you take the elevator to go up to the top. And then once you get up to the top, you're going to go through one more little check of your cards. And then you're going to walk on to the ship. So again, I wouldn't normally show this for this long. I just want to give you an idea of how long the walk is once you get through to get up. This is probably longer than it is to get from the parking lot to uh, the waiting area when you come up. Of course, there'll be your obligatory trying to take your picture. We kind of just always sneak past to the left. We don't take too many pictures on board. Shh. So that's where you want to. If you want to get your picture opportunity, it's right there. And then you keep walking up here. And once again, they're going to check your card. And then you are free to walk onto the ship across the little bridgeway that they have, which I'll show you. So you'll see how easy this whole process is. It really couldn't be easier. There they are checking us. And away we go. We are done. And then you're about to, it's like walking into an oasis of Carnival cruise ship. Because once you go through this door, you're going to see the beautiful Carnival panorama come into view. And there she is. So you walk across this little bridgeway and you are on the ship. That's how simple the whole embarkation process is in Long Beach. Again, if you are on the uh, Imagination or the Inspiration or you do decide to park in the convention center, they do have a shuttle that takes you there. I haven't experienced it. I don't know how efficient or how long it takes, but I do know it's cheaper, about $8 a day cheaper. But if you can park in that lot, it's really, really easy. Enjoy your cruise, everybody. We did, and we will again. So there you go, easy as pie. Simple, isn't it, really? Don't forget to take all the stuff you need when you go through your boarding pass, your passport or equivalent. Look on the Carnival website if you don't have a passport to see what you need to get on. But um, very, very simple process. Make sure you don't show up too early if you have a set uh, allocated time to get on board. If you're at 2.30, you don't show up at 12.30, you're not gonna get on. Um, so, you know, it's staggered for a reason and that means you signed up too late. Three months out, you can sign on, you check in for your cruise. I recommend you do it immediately First ones to check in, you get the earlier check on times. So, up to you, really, isn't it? That? So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that little quick video of uh, getting on board at Long Beach, the embarkation process. See you later, Cruising World. Email me anytime, cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. If you're looking to book a cruise, contact the best in the fleet, David Chirinos. He is awesome. Tell him I sent you. He'll take care of you and make sure your cruise is awesome.